All right there, people, Brad the Lab back again with another video and uh, some news today about the Carabao Cup match official appointments for the final between Manchester United and Newcastle United. Um, so the news is, is that the referee for this game will be David Coote. I think it's his first uh, major final he's refereed in his career. Um... And uh, David Coote, of course, he has, I think he, he's refereed United a few times. And I think we've uh, won on all occasions, um, which is a good omen, I suppose. So this is the news then. So Carabao Cup final, Manchester United versus Newcastle United, 26th of February at Wembley Stadium. The referee will be David Coote. His assistants are Nick Hopton and Tim Wood. The fourth official is going to be Simon Hooper. Uh, Peter Banks is the VAR. Eddie Smart is the assistant VAR. And uh, Nick Greenhall will be the reserve assistant referee. So I think he'll be like standing on the touchline while the game happens. So um, it's, uh, it's a good omen for Manchester United, I suppose. Um, I think we had him in the Carabao Cup when we beat Aston Villa 4-2. Um, Newcastle fans are rumoured to be unhappy with the appointment because um, the last time we refereed them, uh, he gave some decisions to Chelsea in a game that, they, that he officiated last season. Um, so, yeah, um, that's the, the news. Personally, from my point of view, um, obviously a ref to referee final is is very very special. It's a it's a big occasion, so well done. Of course, he's he's obviously um, felt that they've uh, he's earned that he deserves to the to referee the game, uh, the final, and um, yeah, um, obviously I'm not expecting it to mean Manchester United are definitely going to win the Carabao Cup. Or, uh, or anything like that. You know, it's our first final since the FA Cup in 2018 um, in an English competition. The last European competition was the Europa League final in 2021. We lo lost both of those finals, but in 2017 was the last time we won the Carabao Cup. Well, it was called the EFL Cup that season. We beat Southampton by three goals to two. Jose Mourinho was Manchester United manager. Claude Puel was the Southampton manager. We are up against Eddie Howe's Newcastle. Um, Newcastle are defensively one of the best teams in the Premier League. They've got a better goal difference than us. It should be a good final. It should be. Um, one concern I might have um, is if the game goes to penalties because David De Gea doesn't have a great record for saving penalties and Nick Pope is a solid goalkeeper and um, you know he, he can keep them out so hopefully we win the game in the 90 minutes rather than taking it further to extra time or penalties like, or anything like that um, but yeah that's the news about the match official appointments um, all seems pretty settled um, on that front um, we've got to play Barcelona I'm not really fussed about the Barcelona games if I'm being honest then we've got to play Leicester City at the weekend I'm focused on winning that another Premier League game and then we've got to play the, the Carabao Cup final next week again after Bar we play Barcelona in, in, the, in the final no sorry after we play Barcelona in the Europa League and then we've got Newcastle in the final uh, so yeah it is a good home and then we've got West Ham in the FA Cup we've got Liverpool away in the Premier League Southampton at home Brighton away look I think we've got some I think we're in a really good position at the moment we can you know I think all the trophies are there to to grab to be honest I think you know we're, people will say we're in a title race Look, we're, if City are in a title race, so are we, because we're two points behind Arsenal. I'm not expecting us to win the title. I would be happy with third place, if I'm being honest. 
for this season at least, I would be happy with third place and a trophy. Trophy is a must for me. Um, I don't think it will be the Premier League. But it, look, if we can win the, the Carabao Cup, if we win the FA Cup as well, it will be a tremendous season for Manchester United. Um, you know, and uh, new takeover coming in. Lots to be positive about. But yeah, I'm going to stop uh, rambling. Hope you've all had a very, very happy Valentine's Day today. Thank you guys for watching. See you all in a bit. This is Brad the Lad. See you next time. Bye.